Hi, Stephanie. It's Lindsay. It's nice to meet you. Um, so I have a mannequin with, she's the one who has the shortest hair. So basically I clipped all of this out of the way. So it resembles where your hair is currently. And we've got short kind of mop top right here. And so you're wearing it kind of off to the side. Totally understand what you mean by parting it in the middle. <laughs> That's not going to work for anyone. Um, the biggest thing to realize is that you're going from an all to nothing um, kind of style. We need to soften that up so that there's transition. So the best way to do that is you're going to have to embrace this kind of starting to grow out and get a little curly. Um, but also we need to kind of create a transition between where this is so long and this is here to nothing kind of. Um, so in all actuality, what you need to start with is going from this kind of disconnection to a softer pixie kind of style. Um, what I would recommend is um, kind of softening this top up, even though you're trying to grow your hair out, this part is always gonna take the longest and be the hardest. And then once you get everywhere a little bit softer, this is gonna grow more easily for you. So I'm not talking about cutting this all off, but just helping to create a little bit of a blended transition so that it's not so um, disconnected from the sides. Okay, so once you kind of have a softer transitional style to start from, um, which is only a recommendation, you don't have to do that. Um, if you've grown out your hair before, you know that these are always going to be really annoying. It's going to curl up, especially with your texture, and you're going to feel like this is growing into a mullet. It all takes um, kind of a step-by-step -step approach. You can't just let it go and let it grow. You do need to spread out your haircuts, but there's always a couple of different um, midway styles that we're trying to achieve. You can't just look at it here and say, I can't wait to have that picture of me here with all those beautiful luscious curls. Um, so the first thing to remember is start with a pixie and then you're gonna kind of soften things up around here. If this is really bothersome, just tuck it behind your ear. And then this, because you have natural curl, it's actually gonna help blend things more easily for you, but you have to be okay with embracing like flipping up that little curl and just making everything a little bit softer. So the other thing to remember is styling. It looks like you're wearing yours wet, curled, and then just kind of scrunching it and air drying it, which is perfectly fine. Um, you have a really good curl pattern for that, and that's gonna be very easy. As your hair grows in a little bit though, you're going to um, just feel like this big puff ball of curl, and that's not gonna feel really good, especially moving into a professional position. So if you've never tried smoothing out your natural texture, now is a good time after you have a little bit of length, a nice big round brush. Um, smoothing things out is gonna make it feel a lot easier and a little bit more controlled once you have you know, enough length that you can kind of push things around smooth. Even smoothing like this top front is gonna help make it feel like it's more of a style. And then, so also remember like, you're starting here at the nape, so this hair is going to seem like it's getting longer faster versus this hair that's here. An inch that grows here on you is obviously gonna grow out before it grows down, but an inch here gets you here. An inch here gets you halfway down your neck almost. So there's a lot of transition and this big gap that has to be addressed as you're filling things in. So in order to avoid feeling like you always have a mullet, we're gonna have to like bring this up occasionally, keep tucking this. It definitely is a long process, but if you don't rip that bandaid off sooner or later, you're always going to be fighting these weird, awkward transition grow out periods. Um, once you get long enough that you have that length, it's going to, um, especially in dense curly hair, you really do need it to be a little bit longer. Um, once you get enough of that length, you, you know, can definitely have, I have no idea what I'm talking about all of a sudden. Um, you can definitely have extensions and that's going to take a ton of this awkward weirdness out of the way. I have a client now who is, she started about here and it was because she was regrowing from cancer. So we kind of faked it a little bit, um, but it makes it really hard to blend. So when you have, you know, enough hair, that you can have extensions. It's gonna take a lot of that weight down. It's gonna hold that curl down out of the way for you. And it's just gonna feel like you have 
you know, the hair that you really want to have. Um, but the biggest pain is just getting through these like super short, disconnected, awkward feeling areas without knowing what you're doing. So um, definitely let me know if there's anything else I can help you with right now. It looks like you, you really need to start with um, letting this fill in through the sides and back and maybe getting a trim on the top where you have a little bit less of a disconnection. So I will talk to you later. Let me know if I can help you with anything and I hope you have a good day. Bye.